What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer from Electrician U and today we're going to talk about how to wire and install a plug. Take a single gang nail on box. This is what our plug is going to go in. I'm going to mark a plug height. So my plug height, ADA regulations for plug height are 15 inches. That's the lowest plug like anybody in a wheelchair needs to be able to reach a plug from their wheelchair so you got to make sure that the bottom plug the lowest reach point for a plug is at least 15 inches off the finished floor I'm gonna go let's say 20 inches I pop out however many of the little knockouts that I'm gonna use first thing that I'm gonna do is roll my wire out All right, and then I'm gonna cut this to the usable length that I need leave about eight inches outside of the box and then go in from the little hole that I popped out a minute ago. I want this wire to be very, very straight and very neat. You're supposed to do this work per code in a neat and workmanlike manner. So always try to do good work that looks good. Make sure you get a good fresh blade. Make sure that you leave about a quarter to a half inch of Romex sheathing on the wire. Pull the sheathing off. All right, so those three are ready. I like to accordion everything in there. So my next step, is I have my handy dandy tamper resistant receptacle here. Take this stripper, don't hold it down here when you're bending a hook. You always wanna hold the wire at the very end and then use these holes in your stripper. Go in a quarter of an inch and keep pressure on the bottom of it with your finger and then roll it up. And that's a good enough hook for anything that you're gonna do. Keep my strippers at a 45 degree angle, pop the wire off, bend a hook, Take about an inch, bend a hook. See, all three of my hooks are about the same size. When you go to put it on the plug, the hook fits like perfectly on that screw. Make sure that that ground wire goes down all the way. Hook the neutral in. It's always a good habit to get into even if you're only putting one wire on one of these terminals. Just screw the other one back in. The white neutral conductor and screw it to the silver screw you take the black hot conductor and screw it to the gold screw. Accordion these wires back, fold everything neatly. Also being careful not to uh, get that ground wire to touch this wire. You also don't want the ground to touch the neutral side either. I'm gonna screw it in just a little ways, screw it in just a little ways. What to do if like your plug gets cocked sideways so you can actually see that this thing is not in there straight. So one thing that I do, and it's the reason that I use these small guys, is you can grab onto the yoke of this plug and you can torque it and kind of like, you know, re-bend it to where it needs to be and get it straight. We'll tighten it down the rest of the way. And that's it. 